Hello guys. Welcome to the Vivo Candy. Today I come up with new After Effects tutorial. Let's start, after opening After Effects take new composition of 1920 by 1080, duration would be 10 seconds long. Now take new shape layer. Go to the tools panel and select the ellipse tool from the tools panel, and draw a circle by holding shift key. Draw a circle and stroke would be 28. For center anchor point, hold shift key and double click on the pen behind tool. Now align it into the center. Take new solid. Select the color whatever you want to. Now drag it under the shape layer. Drop down the shape layer property and go to the add and select trim path. Drop down the trim path. Decrease the offset to minus 77. Set its end value to 45. Enable the ruler, and drag it and place it into the center. Drag the second ruler and place it over the left corner of circle. Zoom in the work area. Move forward by 20 frames and add the keyframe for the end value, move back on 0 frame and add another keyframe with 0 value. Drill down the track matter and select the alpha mat for the solid. Now we need to draw the mask for solid, select the solid and go to the tools panel and select rectangle tool, and draw a mask like this. Now remove and disable the ruler. Select the shape layer and hit U from keyboard. Select both these keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Select both these keyframes and go to the graph editor. Make the graph like this. If you don't see the graph like this, simply right click and select edit speed graph. Ok now select both these layers and press ctrl plus D from keyboard to make duplicate these layers. Now select the shape layer 2, and hit S for scale, and hold shift key and press T for opacity. Now increase its scale to 112 and decrease its opacity to 35. Now select the shape layer 2 and then go to the menu and drop down the menu for layer. And then go to the transform and then select the flip horizontal. Select the shape layer 2 and hit U from keyboard. Now select both keyframes for shape layer 2 and adjust them like this for better animation. Now select all the layers and pre-compose them. 
Name it Circle 1. Now make duplicate the circle 1 and, drag it into the main composition. Now go to the circle 2, and change the both solid color to whatever you want to. Copy the color code and, paste it in the second solid. Now go back to the main composition and press R for rotation for circle 2. Now change its angle to 180 degree. Cool. Now we need to add text, write whatever you want to. Center the anchor point and align it into the center. So now we need to animate the text. Select the text and hit R for rotation from keyboard. Add the keyframe with value to minus 154 on 0 frame. Move forward by 20 frames and add another keyframe with zero value. Select both these keyframes and easy ease them. Go to graph editor and make graph like this. Make adjustment of text according to the motion of circle. Now move back and hit T for opacity of text. Add keyframe on 0 frame with 0 value, move forward by 15 frames and add another keyframes with 100 value. Select both these keyframes and easy ease them. It's not looking good to me, so I need to adjust the motion of outer ring. Now go to the circle 1 and select the shape layer 2 and hit U from keyboard, Now select both these keyframes and move forward by 5 frames. Now do the same with circle 2. Make adjustment of text according to the motion of circle. Now it's looking good to me. Now for animating the text, drop down the text property and go to add, and select the tracking. Add keyframes for tracking amount on 1 second with 0 value, move forward by 10 frames and add another keyframe with value 8. Select both these keyframes and easy ease them. 
Go to the graph editor and make graph like this. Now pre-compose the text. Now select all these layers and pre-compose them with final circle. Now take new solid with any dark color. Drag it under the final circle. Make duplicate of it or, take new solid with white color. Enable the 3D layer for white solid and, hit R from keyboard for rotation. Now change its X rotation to minus 90. Now drag the white solid down from the green handle. Now increase its size by holding upper left corner. Now take new light and light type would be point. Enable the cast shadow. Now enable the 3D layer for final circle. Drop down the final circle property, then go to the material option and turn on the cast shadow and Turn off the accepts lights. Now adjust the position of final circle over the surface of white solid. Adjust the position of point light to make better effect of shadow. I'm moving forward this step because it's time taking. So we need to animate the point light. So move forward on 1 second and 10 frames. Add the keyframe for position. Now move forward on 5th frames and add another keyframe by changing position of light. Now change the mode of white solid to screen. Now select the white solid and, reduce its size by holding from center. Now we have differentiated both solids. Now you can change the color whatever you want to.
Now guys, we have done this tutorial. Please like and subscribes me. Thank you.